Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome to episode 2. Let's get started. Our first word is abed, which is an adverb that means in bed. For example, to stay abed late on Saturdays. It can also mean confined to bed. Our second word is aberrant, which is an adverb that means departing from the right, usual, or normal course. For example, aberrant behavior. It can also be used as a noun, aberration, which is a group or individual that is not normal or typical. Our third word is abet, which is a verb that means to assist or encourage someone to do something wrong, in particular to commit a crime or other offense. For example, driving a getaway car can lead to being charged with aiding and abetting a criminal. Our fourth word is abeyance, which is a noun that means temporary suspension, inactivity, or cessation. For example, due to budget cuts, employer 401k contributions are put into abeyance. Our fifth word is abhor, which is a verb used with an object that means to regard with extreme repugnance or aversion, or loathe. For example, most people abhor the thought of folding and putting their laundry away immediately after it is out of the dryer. Our sixth word is abide, which is a verb that means to accept or act in accordance with a rule, recommendation, or decision. For example, I abide by the council's decision. Our seventh word is ability, which is a noun that means possession of the means or skill to do something. For example, Mr. Rogers has the ability to bring out the best in others. Our eighth word is abiological, which is an adjective that means not occurring or produced naturally, synthetic. Our ninth word is abiosis, which is a noun that means the absence or lack of life, a non-viable state. Our tenth word is abiratant, which is a noun that means a soothing medication, or an adjective that means relieving or reducing irritation, soothing. Our eleventh word is abject, which is an adjective that means utterly hopeless, humiliating, miserable, or wretched. For example, abject poverty. It can also mean despicable, contemptible. For example, an abject coward. Our twelfth word is abjure, which is a verb used with an object that means to renounce or retract, especially with solemnity. For example, he refused to abjure his faith. Our thirteenth word is ablactate which is a verb used with an object that means to wean infants and young mammals of their mother's milk. Our fourteenth word is ablate, which is a verb used with an object that means to remove or dissipate by melting, vaporization, erosion, etc. For example, she ablated the metal surface with intense heat. Our fifteenth word is ablaze, which is an adjective that means burning, on fire, or burning fiercely. For example, leaving candles lit while you are out of the house can set your house ablaze. Our sixteenth word is able, which is an adjective that means having the necessary power, skill, resources, or qualifications. For example, ASMR is able to put many people to sleep. Our seventeenth word is a bloom which is an adjective that means in bloom, blossoming, flowering. For example, they had noticed their rose bush was a bloom with big yellow flowers. Our 18th word is a blush, which is an adjective that means blushing, reddened. For example, their flattering words left him a blush. Our 19th word is ablution which is a noun that is a cleansing with water or other liquid, especially as a religious ritual. Our twentieth word is ably, which is an adverb that means in a able manner, with skill or ability, competently. For example, he was ably assisted by a team of volunteers. Our 
Our 21st word is abnegate, which is a verb used with an object that means to refuse or deny oneself, reject, renounce. For example, the athletes decided to abnegate the unhealthy snacks even though they really wanted it. Our 22nd word is abnormal, which is an adjective that means not normal, average, typical, or usual, deviates from the standard. For example, abnormal behavior can be a symptom of many illnesses. Our 23rd word is abnormality, which is a noun that means an abnormal condition, state, or quality. For example, scoliosis can be the result of an abnormality in the spine present at birth. Our 24th word is aboard, which is an adverb that means on board, on, in, or into a ship, train, airplane, bus, etc. For example, after the conductor made an announcement, the passengers climbed aboard the train. Our 25th word is abode, which is a noun that means a place where a person resides, dwelling, residence, home. For example, welcome to my humble abode is a saying people give before showing guests their house. Our 26th word is abolish, which is a verb used with an object that means to do away with, put an end to, make void, annul. For example, the 13th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution abolished slavery. Our 27th word is abominable, which is an adjective that means worthy of or causing disgust or hatred. For example, an abominable crime. It can also mean very unpleasant, very bad. For example, the abominable snowman is a mythical creature that is said to live in the Himalayas. Our 28th word is abomination, which is a noun that means anything abominable, anything greatly disliked or abhorred. For example, Frankenstein is often seen as an abomination by the townspeople. Our 29th word is aboriginal which is an adjective that means relating to or typical of the original or earliest known inhabitants of a region or their descendants, indigenous. Our 30th word is aborning, which is an adjective that means being born, coming into being, fruition, realization, etc. For example, a new era of architecture is aborning. It is also an adverb that means in birth, before being carried out. For example, the scheme died a borning. Our 31st word is abort, which is a verb that means bring to a premature end because of a problem or fault. For example, the pilot aborted his landing due to hazardous weather. Our 32nd word is abound, which is a verb used without an object that means to occur or exist in great quantities or numbers. For example, a business in which opportunities abound. Our 33rd word is about, which is a preposition that means of, concerning, in regard to. For example, most students in the United States learn about the American Civil War in school. It is also an adverb that means near in time, number, degree, etc., approximately. For example, the mall is about five miles from here. It is also an adjective that means moving around, a stir. For example, he was up and about while the rest of us slept. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.